Okay then, so what we'll do now is we'll just go over the initial layout of the case. As you can see, big tempered glass panel by here. Then we got the front turn panel, which is perforated, so there's going to be a lot of airflow. By here then, for our front I.O., it's got Type-C, two uh, USB 3s, big power button, headphone, and microphone jack with an LED button. Big, huge magnetic dust filter on the top. There we go. Take the side panel off now. Okay, it's got a sliding mechanism, much better than the older type. That's it for there. Big huge temper glass. So this is the layout of the case. Now I have looked at a few of uh, these on YouTube, but I wanted one because I'm updating my test bench case because I want something that's a bit more modern. So you've got one 140 millimeter. ARGB Lightwing fan, then we've got another, what is it? yeah, another three, three 140s at the front, so there we go, that's the dust filter, these are the Lightwings, these are very good RGB fans, oh, all right, so it's magnetic but there, which connects the trace for the RGB light then, I do like that, so it comes with four. 140 millimeter lightwing fans okay so there's the front panel below perforation it's got mesh filter and it's got these little tabs below then which indicates for the light at the front be quiet logo so what i can see is it's got a room for a 360 it looks like a 420 at the front for in case of radiator space of course, it does support EATX motherboards. And it's got obviously EATX, got ATX, Micro ATX, Mini ATX. I wouldn't put a Mini ATX uh, motherboard in this case because it looked very small. Then we've got this little uh, cutout by here then for the pass-through for the fans, uh, for the cables. So it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven PCI slots, but they have got this like metal thing at the bottom, but there, which could have actually fit another PCI slot. I don't know why they wouldn't have done that, but, and then we've got the rear, which of course, oh, the power supply, you've got to put it in like this. So let's have a take a look at the back. So, noise dampening, which is kind of expected now would be quiet cases, because they are all about that silence all right so it comes with an included argb connect uh hub so this is probably a modified version of the one that comes with the fans you've got two and a half inch space but there for ssds you've got another one by here but i wouldn't use that though. i'd probably use it for another argb controller so connectors you've got type c you've got usb 3 argb and you've got the basic standards and obviously you've got that oh wait right so we've got a little accessory box let's take a look at this probably just some cable oh wait there no no aha ah so it comes with another drive cage which goes by there i'm assuming is it no oh, might be but i don't know you get the standoffs of course and then you get some zip ties so that's pretty much for the accessories and of course let's we'll have a look at the back now i'm sorry the top got a look at the top of the case see what it does support so hold on oh actually no oh, there's no three and a half inch drive bays at all i'm assuming you buy those separately off their be quite website which will be down in the link below then of course the power supply is just you can fit as bit the biggest power supply you can actually fit in a case oops sorry about that so for the top like i said big dust filter so looks like another 360 another 420 millimeter radiator so that means that your the aios they sell you can put these on and it has got an actual 
offset from the motherboard tray so you won't have to worry about clearance for the RAM. So, that's actually pretty much it when it comes to the case. Now i got to build my test bench into it and then we'll be back. Right then, so what am I actually using? It is my test bench, so it's an MSI X570 Pro Wi-Fi, uh, Pro Carbon Wi-Fi motherboard, Ryzen 5900X. It's got 16 gigs of uh, Delta T Force Team Group DDR4. It's also got a one terabyte Western Digital NVMe. Then it's got a 500 gig then. Uh, Sabrinth drive that's for backup so what we're going to do now is just get this installed okay then well that's the motherboard installed now it does look rather nice but obviously there's a lot of space now we'll get the power supply installed and of course we've got another be quiet product it is the pure power 11 fm this is a 650 watt uh 80 plus gold power supply from Be Quiet. So, let's get this installed as well. And that's the power supply installed. As you can see, the power supply looks rather tiny, but that doesn't matter. So now we've just got to route these cables. So, luckily, Be Quiet has included these already so this will actually be quite easy so go. ah right then so that's all the front panel connectors installed and all that now now i've got to get a cpu cooler installed in here and then we'll get rest r the rest of the video done okay then so yes i know it seems like i'm shilling for be quiet but i'm not i've Quite, I've got quite a few of their products here and this one was actually the easiest to hand and I thought it actually went with the included light wings in the case so now I'm going to finish off a couple of bits now I'm going to install the GPU and then we'll see what it looks like finished so now what the only thing that's left is to install the graphics card this is an RTX 3070 from Palette Let's install this in, is it? This is the last bit. Okay, and that's graphs card installed. Nice and tight, yeah. It's not the biggest graphs card, but of course it does make the build look better. So guys, what do you think? I think this looks absolutely amazing. The airflow is fantastic. And personally, I think this looks amazing, especially with the amount of RGB fans you get. And this is the toggle switch in the front. Of course, I've got to set it to RGB pook. But you can send, set it to static colors, which the red looks quite nice. You know, you can set it all, and because it's the light wings, obviously they all sync up, which is amazing, looks fantastic. Just look at it, man, that's nuts. And then, of course, obviously, just leave it sync to your computer, which, at the present moment, my actual software is synced to Color Shift, which looks rather striking. So... I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. And as always, this is Rich Welsh Tech. Good bye.